guess where these came from. My body was like, girl, I want to give you this, but I'm scared. I am on vacation. Wait, I thought I could hide the lower part because it's not that type of video. What's up guys, I'm on vacation. I have literally spent the entire day outside. Um, I'm about to shower and get ready for tonight. I look cute. I think I'm gonna go, I'm not sure if I'm just gonna like, go hang out by like the, there's like a lobby bar area, or if I'm actually gonna try and find a place to have a nice dinner. But this is what I look like right now. I'm tired. I've been outside. Is it the next day? It is. It sure is. I think I exhausted myself yesterday. I, you know how, I don't think I got heat exhaustion. I'm being dramatic. I did not get heat exhaustion. <laughs> but I think I like pushed myself too far. Um, I did a really long walk yesterday. And then I did like the spa by the pool. It was really nice. And I got back to my room around like three something. So I've been out since basically 7 a.m. And I was like, yeah, this, I'm not doing any, any, any glam today. It's not happening. So I did it. So it's the next day. I'm gonna do, what am I doing? What are you doing, Mima? What are you doing? I need to wet my sponge. Hold on. Got my sponge. Um, honestly, I don't even know why I'm filming on vacation. I'm not supposed to be, but something is, making me feel like I should. I don't know why. Maybe it's because like I'm relaxed. I'm relaxing. But something is just like, just turn the camera on. Let's see. So I'm going to do that. We'll see where this takes us. Um, but yeah. Hi. Y'all, I barely packed any makeup. I was not preparing to do makeup. If it happened, it happened. If it didn't, it didn't. <laughs> That's literally, that was literally my mindset for when I was packing my makeup this, for this trip. I don't even think if I have everything to do a full face, but we'll see. This is gonna be a very simple look. Vacay beachy, I'm not even on the beach. Actually, I'm by the ocean, y'all, I'm by the ocean. This resort, whatever the hell they call this place, is amazing. Wow, 10 out of 10 every single time. This is the second time I've stayed here. I stayed here um, almost exactly a year ago. One more month and it would be a year for my 30th birthday and I fell in love, I absolutely fell in love. It was a recommendation from my manager. Um, she was like, you you should go here. It's like a cute little like staycation place. It's literally an hour away from where I live. So it's a quick drive, but, or quicker than like what you would expect for a vacation. And it literally feels like I'm being like teleported. I, it, it literally feels like I have been teleported to a completely different like land that's how amazing this place is but it's only an hour away i love this place i love this place i love this place so much and i knew when i like when i realized that i needed to like do like a quick reset i found myself getting a little tired and i didn't want to wait to like completely burn out like i usually do you know i was like nope it's time let's just do a quick one real fast and here i am for a couple more days i hope because this place is busy i didn't think that they were going to be this busy at this time so i only booked two days and now i'm like literally at the front desk begging them to extend my time <laughs> extend my stay i'm like please i made a mistake please give me two more days so we'll see i think it'll happen because i just believe that it will happen okay so Actually, let's do hair first. I got new braids, fresh braids. I got them for, a, I love the twist. And I think if I didn't have this shoot that I had literally the day before my vacation, um, I would have probably either just like retouched up the twist and things like that. But they were slipping and um, the stylist that did them for me let me know that like there's a possibility that they'll slip and whatnot. And I was just like, okay, you know, I still wanna do it because I was thinking about doing micro locks for my natural hair. I was thinking about putting my natural hair in micro locks. So that was kind of like a trial run to see if I was gonna like the micro locks. I did like them. I haven't decided yet is if it is something that I'm gonna do permanently, but I did like them. But since I had this shoot that I had, 
literally a couple days ago it went amazing it was exhausting <laughs> but it was amazing um i just decided to do something fresh and clean and that's where these came from they look really cute i'm um, about to try and make them look even better styling of it really doesn't take much thank god that is why i got braids y'all wigs have just been not my life this this first couple months of this year it wasn't it wasn't my life for like even like the last couple of months of last year i was just i don't know what it is i'm probably just going through a phase where i'm just like not trying to deal with wigs they are high maintenance like contrary to popular belief wigs are very high maintenance like a lot i just cannot no i can't i'm sorry here's the thing the wig life right now and me are not like vibing and that's okay so braids for me for a while i'm loving them i love how easy they are to maintain to style and everything um this is new to me this is the mayel um rice water collection it's a shine mist and it's excellent for length retention for daily use so i'm just spraying it at the root of my braids where my where most of my natural hair is braided into the the hair um i'm not sure like i said this is new to me i've just been using it since these braids when i style okay so that's one side done so this is just water i bought this like little mini spray bottle with me so i'm just going to do the rest of it with water one side done also i saw a comment i was on my sun perfect sunday reset video someone liking the uh combo of like day life or like home life mixed with like makeup i like it too i think it'll be a really good way for me to like show you guys like what my day-to-day -day looks like while you know still keeping my channel um a beauty channel which i really do want to do i don't want to like change over my channel um to anything um too drastic like I like where I'm at right now. I like the fact that this is a beauty channel. Um, I don't want to change that, but I do want to give you guys a little bit more insight into like what I do outside of beauty. I actually also have an Instagram. If you guys don't have TikTok, I have a second Instagram called Nima as well because it came from like me really feeling like pigeonholed. I did that to myself, right? I felt pigeonholed into like just like beauty and like I have so many other interests outside of beauty that I felt like I couldn't share because everyone's always like, oh, the algorithm this, the algorithm that. And it's true, it's really true. Like if you throw yourself out of the algorithm, it is really hard to get back into it. Also your um, platform suffers, whatever platform that is, whether that's Instagram or YouTube, um, whatever it is, it does suffer. Um, and I just, for me, I am not the type, once I'm bored of something, I can't keep doing it. It will suck at my soul. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm bored of makeup but I needed a moment to gather like what's next in makeup and things like that and it felt like I didn't have the outlet to kind of like relax and do other things um while I figured out what's what I want to do next within the makeup industry and the makeup community and things like that um so that's where Nima as well came from because I'm gonna be doing random ish over there okay and I just don't I don't want to be like limited to just one thing when I know there's other things that I'm like extremely interested in. I'm actually gonna start taking swimming classes because I don't know how to swim. So I'm gonna be taking swimming lessons soon. Ugh. And I'm gonna try and document that for you guys. Hopefully I don't look like a freaking lunatic trying to swim, but it's something that I wanna do. I took an archery class last year and I loved it. I am also one of those people that loves being good at something right away <laughs> and I was good at archery. And so I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, I'm taking Pilates. That is one thing that I am not good at. Like it was hard to get good. I'm not good. I'm not good at Pilates. I'm not lying. Um, Pilates was a hard thing to for me because I just was not instantly good at it. It was hard for me. I've been doing it for about three months now, and it's still hard as hell. <laughs> it's still hard as hell. But I literally had to force myself to keep going because. I'm not gonna, all, I, I'm trying to like get out of this notion of like not, if I'm not good at it, I'm gonna quit. I can get better at it and teaching myself that it's okay, stick with it. Cause if you know me, I'm an Aries. I will drop you like a bad habit if I'm not good at it. Like the moment it starts to get a little difficult, we're gonna fight. 
And I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm also like, I'm good at like persevering. I'm also good at like, okay, we're gonna fight through this. We gotta keep doing this, especially if it's something that I really, really, really want. But if it's not like Pilates was in the first place, <laughs> I will drop you. And I'm trying not to do that. So that's why I'm sticking with Pilates. I've been there, for, I've been doing it for about three months, like I said, almost three months now. And it's been good so far besides it being hard as hell. It looks so easy when you're watching from the outside looking in. It looks like you're just like stretching, you know, doing like whatever those things are. Uh-uh, don't let them fool you. That ish is hard. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Let me put the hair up. We are good to go. Okay. So this is what it's looking like. Um, it's time to do some of the edges. I don't know if I can even see it because I don't have a mirror. This is the only mirror that I have, which is my phone. I'm not even good at them to begin with. Now I'm gonna try and do them without a mirror. Is that a good direction? I think so. Better, do they match now? Who knows, child, fuck it. <laughs> we are done here, thank you. You guys see why I get my hair done now? I am not a hairstylist, nor do I desire to be. Yay, I think we did it. The uncertainty in my voice says it all. Whew. All right, let's go to my part now. The part that I'm good at. Hopefully you can't see the goods. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, so um, earlier, Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever HD Skin. I just did a review on this foundation. And like I said, I have not been able to put it down ever since. So what I was saying, or, oh, I guess I'm just gonna do my brows afterwards. Yeah, too late now. So I was saying earlier about how um, I started going to Pilates when I was working out. So actually what I did do at the beginning of this year is I took, I did like a cleanse I told myself I was gonna do a cleanse. So I did, a, I'm doing a three month alcohol cleanse. It's gonna be over very first, the first of April. So I started, I think, um, December 31st, I think is when I started my cleanse. So it's gonna be over the first of April. And I did that because I, I need, I'm trying to like get to the best physical, feeling body of my life and it's not really even body anymore that's why I'm doing this cleanse I was just so tired all the time like just all exhausted and most of it is obviously what you eat um but a little most a big part of it too is like what you drink and things like that and I was drinking a lot I'm not gonna lie I was drinking way too much because of everything that I was going through last year and I was just like, this isn't the path. This is not it for my life. And for to be honest, like my body has always been a part. Like I'm, whoa, why am I talking about this on YouTube? But I guess here we go. <laughs> I'm very like, you know, you guys know, I'm very particular about like what I share, how I share it, when I share it, why I share it. Um, and I'm also very like specific about what the re what um, my feelings and my thoughts towards sharing it. I have me myself. There's a rule that I do not break for myself. If I'm not ready to share it and I'm not ready for, cause like when you share things online, you share it not just with yourself, <laughs> you share it with the whole world. And like everyone gets to decide what they want to, you know, do with that information. If they want to be nice, if they want to be rude, if they want to be nasty, like whatever it is, it's no longer like within my control. And I'm a very type, I'm the type of person that like I need to have control. Um, learning, working on that too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very, that's why I'm like very specific, very particular about when I, sh what I share, when I share and how I share it. Um, because I don't like to have regrets. In my life, there's only a few things that I can say that I actually regret. And that's a lot coming from someone that's 30. Um, and I am very proud of that, but you know, Conceal is a little lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I'm very proud of that. So all, all that saying to all that going to say is my body has something has been something that I've always like kind of felt good about until I wasn't feeling good about it. And that means that was when like I, I've always been like let's say hmm, I've always been like 
really small like anyone that knows me when i was younger probably even on to like my 20 20s um to my mid 20s will say we'll see that i've always been like a, I'm a, i've always been a really small girl i actually got teased for being skinny that's a whole nother video <laughs> but i got teased for being skinny so much so that like i wanted to gain weight and when i did gain the weight and i was like no that's not what i wanted that was literally the world trying to tell me to change something about myself that I actually liked. Like I liked my body, you know? And so that's irrelevant to the story though. Right around the time I started doing YouTube, I was working two jobs. So I was bartending and serving like two completely different buildings. I was doing those services and I was on my feet. I was always moving. Cause if you've ever been in the service industry, you will clear way past those 10,000 steps that everyone's trying to achieve a day. You are always moving, you're always on the go. And I worked in a high volume bar when I was bartending. So that even on top of that was like a lot. So that was technically like my workout, you know? I really didn't work out. The only time I worked out consistently was when I, I think I gained like a few pounds and like something happened within like my family. And I just like, I really wanted to have control over something and I wanted to lose weight and get back, get back in shape. Cause I think I gained like 10 pounds throughout the whole ordeal and um I went to the gym I got what was consistent and I lost the weight and then you know I went back to my normal life <laughs> when my YouTube channel started growing I realized that like I could start working for myself and I didn't have to you know um oh crap but yeah I realized I could start working for myself um that I didn't need to you know I could quit and I could start working for myself and focus on what I was doing full time. So that shift from going to, and I was like bartending career wise for, oh, like work, so I was in the services industry career wise for ever since I can remember. The, my first job was in the service industry and that's like the only job that I'd ever, I'd ever done. So I was in the service industry since like I said, I think I got my first job at 15, 15 to about 25. How long is that? I'm not good at math, y'all. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh wait, that should have made that should that should not have been that hard for me to calculate. That's 10 years. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's 10 years I was doing that, right? Always on my feet, constantly, four to five days a week, if not six days a week, honestly, sometimes. And then it stopped. <laughs> cold turkey. Just cold turkey stopped. And I was, I went to almost like a desk job, not really a desk job, desk job, but you know, like a desk job, like, like what I'm doing right now. When I film, I sit, when I'm filming, I'm sitting, when I'm editing, I'm sitting, you know? And that was like sometimes eight hours more than that of my day doing, you know, content. And that's when it started. <laughs> It just started slowly going and it slowly went, it slowly went on me. It didn't like happen like overnight. I felt like it went on me over like the course of a year, year and a half maybe. And then I just could not get it off. And then it just kept going and going and going and going. And I was just like, what in the actual world is going on? Because it was, I wasn't eating terrible, but I wasn't eating great either. And then, you know, having fun, going out, drinking, all that fun stuff, you know? And that's where my body, oops. so that's where it took a turn for me. And that's why it's just always been a weird thing for me because like I went from like, like my whole literally body transformed. Gaining weight in that way was very like interesting and kind of hard for me to like accept and understand. I felt like I've been on this like journey of like losing weight for like, I don't know, maybe like, long would it would I say probably like two three years maybe even more and I just never been good consistent I've never been good to myself about it and recently you know I did the cleanse I told you guys I was doing the cleanse y'all this is a whole last video I thought I was just gonna sit down and like show you guys my makeup doing the cleanse recently it was a no alcohol cleanse so the first month was just no alcohol um you know, everyone does dry January, so that was easy enough. I just basically thought of it as like dry January. Um, but, you know, I was we're easing my way into changing my eating habits, which like I said, they aren't that bad. And I was working out a ton. Oh my God, I was working out so much. I was like hiking, because I don't mind working out. I'm one of those people that doesn't mind working out. I picked up Pilates. I picked up Pilates in December. I was hiking 
five days no monday i was hiking monday tuesday thursday friday um and then i was doing pilates saturday sunday and i would give myself a day off like if i didn't feel like going but i would be i'd feel guilty about it um so i'd give myself the day off but the whole day i'd be stressing about it and not feeling great about like being down on myself because i'm like you're supposed to be working out you have a goal you know where you want to be in the next couple of months you know and that was all of january how much weight did i lose zero i think i gained two pounds <laughs> I think I gained two pounds actually in January. I didn't, uh, I was like, for me, it was just like more than just like, you know, obviously losing weight. I did notice that I was feeling better. Like I was had a little bit more energy, things like that. So I wasn't hard on myself about that because I knew that there was other reasons why I was like trying to get in shape. So I didn't let it discourage me, but I was like, what the hell? <laughs> um, so I kept going, you know, I was like, you know, it's time. It's time to clean up my diet a little bit more. Um, and I cleaned up my diet in February. Actually, I, February was really busy for me for some reason. So I wasn't even eating enough. Like I had to, I had to constantly sit down and make myself eat and remind myself to eat. Oh, I started eating breakfast, which is something I don't even do. I don't even like, but I noticed that like after I work out, I'd be exhausted. So I was like, okay, I've got to, something's got to give. <laughs> so I started eating breakfast just so I could have a little bit of energy, you know, throughout the day and not feel, uh, throughout my workout and not feel like exhausted as soon as I got home. That helped a lot. Eating um, in the morning helped me feel less, not as exhausted. Then in February, I was like, okay, you didn't lose weight, but you know, you're feeling better. It's okay. So let's just tighten up the diet a little bit, you know, um, and move into the next phase of this like three month cleanse type thing. The next phase was still no alcohol for February and really watching, like being careful with what I put in my mouth, re recognizing like if it's going to be good for me. And I did that. I was actually doing really well. Like I, like I said, eating is like, I would forget to eat sometimes. So when I'd eat at night, I make good choices and whatnot. So but I always had breakfast. So I'd always have breakfast, but then I'd forget lunch, <laughs> which is bad, but you know, it's just the story of my life right now. And like mid-February, I did another check-in and um, like three weeks into February, I did another check-in, still nothing. And I was like, it might be like muscle, cause that's how I justified it too in February. I was like, it might be muscle, you know, I am going to Pilates, it is really hard, but still nothing. And I was just like, what in the fuck? <laughs> Sorry that's when i started getting frustrated because i'm like i'm tightening up my diet i am working out i am and I, this is when i was still working out like like how much was i working out still the same time same amount three days i mean six days a week hiking and it was not an easy hike too runyon's hard as hell <laughs> can y'all see how frustrated i am runyon's hard as hell and i was like what in the actual is going on i was so upset and then i and then it hit me and then i was like this entire time i'm doing this so i can have i can feel better about myself so i can stress less right it does not feel like i'm like just not taking care of myself and then this entire time i'm doing that for that reason not realizing that I'm probably stressing the hell out of my body. Like working out so much, I was probably get, like stressing my body out so much. And I was just like, I think that's what it is. I think I'm not getting, I'm not losing weight because my body is so stressed. The only rest day I gave myself was Sunday. And if I took time off any of the, any of the other days during the week, I would feel bad about it. That weekend that I made had that realization, my sister actually came to see me. I really just needed like a girl's um, weekend. So she came to see me and we just literally just like, we lived life on easy mode. Like we went for walks, we went to the farmer's market went to the farmer's market. We just did life on easy mode. And I was like, I like this. This feels nice to me. <laughs> you know, I didn't work out. I had that realization. I was like, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be easy on myself. I'm gonna take it easy. You know, I'm gonna be kinder to myself, da 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 da. And I did that. So after she left, I, I don't, after she left was literally last week. Last week was when she left. She came the weekend before so the last week of February, I didn't work out. I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna like really just relax and like ease my way into working out. I'm still gonna work out, like just not as much as I was doing, you know? So that weekend, I think I lost like three pounds. 
and we were eating whatever we wanted obviously was, i was still trying to like stay away from like things that would trigger my body because i have certain uh, um foods that trigger my body okay editing mima here i just want to come on here and say the scale and like the number on the scale fluctuates so much so those three pounds although they were kind of like oh it's nice to see it wasn't an indication of like oh i'd actually lost any weight it might have been water weight it could have been anything but I just want to jump on here and tell you guys that so this is like last week now i feel so much lighter and i'm just like i was truly stressing my body out my body was like girl i want to give you this but i'm scared it was just like S slow down for me just give me some time i'm gonna give it to you you just gotta relax okay i can't give it to you in like 30 days it's just not gonna happen you know and um i think that's kind of what i wanted to talk to you guys about because i have always like like i said i'm very particular about like what i share when i share it and i feel like i hit a really big re realization with like you know taking care of myself that i don't have to you need to give yourself like i know everyone is saying it grace give yourself grace you know <laughs> but it's true you need to give yourself a little bit of like time not only to just like recover but time to realize that like sometimes a lot of something can still be really bad for you so me working out five six days a week doing such high intensity workouts at that um was actually i think doing more harm than good so i'm switching it up i'm gonna do a, i'm gonna find an easier hike i still i don't want to give up hiking i love hiking i love being outside the sun is like my fuel for the day um so i'm not gonna give up hiking i'm gonna find an easier hike and i'm still gonna do pilates pilates will probably switch to my main form of working out because i do like the fact that i'm still i am toning my muscles and um working out at the same time versus like hiking it's just like a lot of cardio so I'll probably just ramp Pilates up to probably three days a week and maybe hike like twice a week. Wait, does that sound like the same schedule? Five days. <laughs> Here I am telling you guys to slow down. I didn't even finish my makeup. I'm gonna have to show you guys a final look after I finish talking to you guys about this. I'll probably do Pilates two days a week. I'll stick to the two. I'll do Pilates two days a week. I'll probably do that. Then I'll go on hiking two days a week. And I think that'll be it for me. I think four days is great. I think Friday, Saturday, Sunday off of working out will be exactly what I need. Um, I'll do a less intensity, a less intense hike, which will be great throughout the week. And Pilates is just fucking Pilates. They don't care about your stress levels, okay? <laughs> get in, get out, get in, do your job, get out. That's all Pilates cares about. But it's fine because, like I said, I need something to like help me tone and strengthen. Um, I'm not really good. I'm not a good person at working out by myself. Like I need group classes because I will get distracted, and no amount of workout will be done. I need someone to tell me what to do, when to do it, how to do it. To not make this video super long, I'm gonna cut this and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final look. Okay, I didn't do much. <laughs> All I did was do my brows, but I wanted to show you guys this trick that I've been doing for my eyelashes because I haven't been wearing um, falsies. So I'm using the Color Drain Paint Base Eyeshadow Base. They, I like the Color Drain one because they have they have a vari variation, a variety. Is that a right word? That's the right word. Variety of different colors for the eyeshadow bases. So I'm using oh shit. What color am I using? wheat i think there's a darker color than wheat but i didn't pack it because like i said i was in a rush so i actually noticed that like i have lashes they're just really close to my skin tone <laughs> uh, but i also don't like to do crazy eyeshadows so i've been doing my eye looks this way so i take the base on my lid like that i get it really close to the lash line basically what i'm doing is to uh lighten up this area right here i'm gonna set it with something else to darken it a little bit more to make it look more natural for me because i do like natural makeup looks let me see if i can get you guys a little closer hopefully this doesn't fall don't do that y'all i didn't bring a tripod like i said i was not supposed to work on this vacation I didn't bring anything, so you guys should see the setup I have right here. It's like everything is stacked together. Yep, I barely packed any eyeshadow palettes. Wow, okay. I think I have everything though, every color I think, that I need to do this. I hope, shoot. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm gonna put that in my 
crease area and this is gonna start by start diffusing all of that color actually I should have set the eye first yeah that's what I should have done first this is a trick for like all of you guys that have dark skin like me that feel like your lashes are short my lashes are short they just the few that I have don't show up and I didn't understand why until I did this and I'm like, well, that's why. And maybe I should have done like a side by side or some shit, but hmm, I don't know. Yes, looks crazy. Hold on, don't worry. It'll be just fine. So now we will in and fix it. Just blend everything in together into that. I almost want to say like a contour brown shade, whatever it's called. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? That shade. We're just gonna blend everything into that. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, it's a darker color. Now it almost kind of looks like I'm not wearing too much eyeshadow, but that little area is still there. So the only color you're seeing is like really right there anymore from where we started. <laughs> this is what's gonna help my lashes pop. So I'm gonna start with a couple of coats of mascara. Okay, see? It's the contrast that's helping my lashes pop. Before, I didn't really use much contrast because I didn't, you know, my skin tone is very similar. But the few lashes that I do have weren't getting a chance. So that's what I've been doing to help, like, really help my makeup, my lashes show up. All right, so I just finished. So I want to show you guys the lashes. You guys see what I'm talking about? The contrast really helps. All right, so I just changed. I'm wearing this dress from Zora. It's very vacation-y. Vacation vibes for sure. And I like the slit. Kind of feels like a hair down day. Okay, yep, it's a hair down day. It's a hair down day. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me on my vacation, you know? No, no, just felt, felt like I needed to talk about it. What in the hell? What are the... That would be dry skin. Okay, <laughs> I'm going, bye.